welcome to Carolina Women and Men on the Couch. <laughs> Larry, yes, Men on the Love Seat. Well, that's true. Michael, thank you for joining. Michael, thank you for joining us. Larry Marsh, thank you, you for joining us. You had to do a double us. take, didn't you? I did. I was yeah. like, wait a minute. Who did they switch seats? We are really excited to share that when we are at FWDG, we will have two co-hosts that are males, and we'll be doing some interesting things here moving forward. Uh, Larry, Mike, do you all want to share with us a little bit about what we're going to do? Well, we're here to level the ground a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Too many women. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Too much estrogen in this room. So I convinced Michael to come on board, um, told him it would be great for his, his business and uh, the community, and he fell for it. So um, I love it because we get a little insight onto what's going on in Buford. Yes. I think the exciting part, and I'll let you guys share what you're really going to do, is I think we're going to learn a lot about the Buford culture that people may or may not really know is here, the depth and the breadth. And it's growing. Exactly. Larry. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to talk to local people, mm -hmm. um, start bringing in a little bit of insight into what's happening over here, a little bit of where the growth is and, and what's changing and what's not changing. Can you give us a little snippet? Well, we're, we're going <laughs> <teaser? laughs> to talk a little bit about um, some of the local businesses. We're going to try and uh, interview some of the local politicians and, and let people really get a feel for what Beaufort is. It just has for, a different vibe, it doesn't does. it? And just In a the, good way. Exactly. Yes. And just for the people who don't really know you and your history, mm -hmm. share with our audience a little bit about you and Beaufort. You grew up here, both of you. Right. Yeah, I grew up first. Yes, uh, I did much earlier. <laughs> Michael, Michael's better. still growing up. We're just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, born and raised in Buford, as was my father and uh, our father, and our grandfather came over from the old country um, just after the turn of the century, about 1904, and. Um, started a mercantile business in the Burton area about a mile from where we're sitting as a growth wise. And, um, and so my father um, went off, uh, went to, into the army, uh, got married, um, and he and his bride, our mother, came Rose. to Buford Rose, Rose Mark, mm -hmm. um, and uh, came to Buford, opened up a furniture store. And uh, at that time, uh, everything was what they called credit operations or credit furniture stores. Um, most of what was done was not sold in the store, but instead on the back of a pickup truck. Oh, was it going really? To, yeah, going to um, collect the dollar a week that each person had bought their bedroom suit or their potbelly stove yep. or whatever from, from the furniture store. And um, since then, obviously, things have changed. We still use credit, but it's a different way. Exactly. And um, most of us need it to, to buy bigger goods anyway. And now you can buy right off the floor. Now you can buy off the floor. So um, what are your, this is your business, FWDG now. Right. And Mike, how about you, Michael? Well, um, I spent 23 years in this business. Okay. Uh, grew up in it with my uh, parents and then worked uh, with Larry for years and years and years. And um, brilliantly, in 2008, I decided I wanted to be a real estate agent and left my family's business um, with their blessings. when everything tanked. Yes, and uh, spent the next few years figuring what kind of nut I was and fell in love with the business. And so I do a lot of commercial real estate. I help people buy, buy investment properties, but I also stay very involved in the housing market. And um, I have a, a wonderful company with Charter One that helps me through the process. And um, we, we sell a lot of houses and a lot of commercial real estate. You made the point that Buford is really growing. Um, the old hinterlands of Buford are now, Port Royal is now a thriving city. It, Port Royal is growing leaps and bounds. Um, and it will continue to grow. Because it's so beautiful. It, it is. is. But we one thing about Beaufort that's a little bit different is we're a lot more protective of where we grow. Um, Bluffton was easy to grow as you got out of the downtown because it was timberland. Sure. So it's easy to knock down a pine tree and build a house. Beaufort really didn't have the timberland. So we have these massive live oak trees, which are our culture. Okay. 
And yes, and we, we spend an enormous amount of time and effort trying to work around you know what them. What I love and about so, Buford, so, though, is the waterfront absolutely. and how the so businesses. The and I know yeah. that we, we have so much more to talk about. We're mm -hmm. out of time right now. Oh, okay. But we look forward when we come to see you every month to learn more about the culture and really educate ourselves. Thank you. This is going to be so fun. It is going to be fun. Stay with yeah. us. More to come here on Carolina Women 